past, Joel observed Tanya from behind the pillar. He wondered if she still had feelings for him. His wishful thinking was, however, destroyed when he overheard her phone conversation. Darling, so it was you who helped me out. Of course I'll reward you. Do you want a kiss? Or perhaps I'll stay over and sleep next to you for a few nights. No problem, I can't wait. Text me the location. Joel felt his heart break as he watched Tanya leave. He felt like there was a ticking time bomb on the verge of exploding somewhere hidden in his body, and without a moment's hesitation, he got into his car and followed her. Is she stalking me? Don't let that woman in. Miss Jones, I have no right to refuse her entry if she's a legitimate customer. You may not care about my identity as Miss Jones, but what about my identity as Miss Smith? You should know that although Jill and I aren't married yet, I've already moved into the Smith's residence. Hillary couldn't hide her smugness as she looked at the stunned face of the lobby manager. That woman is a dance teacher who injured our daughter. She followed me here because she wants to apologize. I don't want to see her, and I don't think Joel would want to either. Understand? All right, Miss Jones. Hillary hated that she was still referred to as Mrs. Jones, but decided to let it slide since she had won this round. Excuse me, miss. Do you have an appointment? Yes, the room number is... I'm sorry, miss, but I can't let you in. Miss Jones let us know that Mr. Smith left instructions refusing to let you in. I'm not here for them. I have an appointment with someone else here. <sighs> Miss Jones said that Mr. Smith has instructed that you're not allowed to be anywhere that she is. If I let you in, I'll end up offending him. How about this? Is it all right if I get someone to bring a chair here for you and let you wait outside? Tanya felt humiliated and heartbroken and decided it was best for her to leave. Please get my car. Thanks. Joel saw Tanya leave the club and felt a little bit of relief and curiosity before walking into the lobby. Welcome, Mr. Smith. As per your instructions, we've prevented that lady from coming in. Rest assured that we won't allow her to bother you. What do you mean, you won't allow her to bother me? Mrs. Smith told us not to allow the lady at the entrance to come in. She said that it was per your instruction. On my instructions? She's not Mrs. Smith yet. My apologies, Mr. Smith. I've always addressed her as Miss Jones, but she demanded that we change the term of address today. Joel tried to hide his anger as he walked out of the club. He could still see Tanya in the parking lot, and he hoped to speak to her. Tanya, are you thinking of going in for dinner? Why don't you ask Hillary to get you in the door? What are you standing around here for? I heard you were the champion in an international dance competition. Why can't you get an invite to a small club like this? Today, I've finally witnessed what it means to ride on someone's coattails. Are you sure you want to talk to us like that? Who do you think you are? Is it true that you think you are all that great just because some wealthy families invited you to teach them to dance after you won the championship? At the end of the day, you're still just a dance teacher. Just look at you now. You're teaching kindergarten kids. Why don't you give one of your students' parents a call and ask them to invite you to the club? Tanya seethed in anger as she was ridiculed by her former classmates. She knew all these wouldn't have happened if Hillary and Joel had not restricted her from entering the club. Hey, that's a pretty impressive car you're driving. Only someone rich could afford to drive an SUV like that. Was it a gift from one of the parents? I heard that some teachers use the excuse of giving dance lessons just so they can fool around with the kids' dads instead. Get lost! Remember what she looks like. From now on, no one is allowed to stop her anytime she comes here. Tanya was left dumbfounded as Joel walked out of the club. She didn't understand why he had defended her and wondered what had come over him. I'm sorry. I didn't know my friends would do that. I went to the kindergarten this morning to thank Tanya, but she slapped me. When my friends heard what happened, they asked me out to Club Prism, so I headed over. I really didn't expect that they would exact revenge on my behalf or that they would use her name to stop Tanya from entering the club. <laughs> Hillary was shocked to see Joel hand her some documents that contained evidence against her claims. There are surveillance cameras in both the kindergarten and the club. If you continue to deny it, I can ask for the video footage. Allow me to remind you that surveillance camera footage comes with audio nowadays. It's my fault this time. I only did it because I panicked when I saw that Tanya was back. I was afraid she would take you away from me. She told me she's back to take revenge on me and take everything I have from me. 
You know, Tanya has been fighting with me over everything since we were kids. I just wanted her to leave. I just wanted to protect what's mine. There's Mia too. Why did Tanya go to that kindergarten? It's because she knows Mia as our daughter. I don't know how she did it, but she's already won her over. Mia's already asking for her. There's no way someone like Tanya would be content to leave things as they are. Don't forget that she abandoned you for dancing. She must be thinking of pursuing you. Do you remember what I said when you first came to live with us? Hilary vividly remembered the agreement she had with Joel in the past and suddenly realized she had broken her word. Since you've broken the rules, get out. Get out! I know what I did was wrong. I'll never do anything like that again. Are you going to leave by yourself or should I get someone to throw you out? I was wrong and I admit it. I'll leave. But can I see Mia before I go? Okay. But be careful what you say to her. Mommy, Daddy, what's the matter? Hillary knew it would be pointless trying to ask for mercy from Joel and decided to use Mia to get back into his good books. Hillary had to show Joel that Mia was reluctant to let her leave. She hoped she would reconsider if she could make the little girl cry and hold her in her arms to comfort her. She was confident that she had treated Mia well enough all these years. There was no way Mia would cope with being away from her mother. Mommy has to go away for a while. You must promise to behave at home, okay? Will you miss me? Go ahead, Mommy. I'll be a good girl. Hillary was stunned by Mia's answer. Will Hillary be kicked out now that she is no longer needed? Or will she find a way to remain in the house? To find out more. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.